I'm starting off the day at 6.30. Busy day. Joe is actually getting ready for work. There's Mr. Joe. I'm going to start with a cup of coffee. Oh. And then I have to get ready for an MRI. Another test. Earlier I had an ultrasound. Today I have an MRI. Then I'm going to be headed out to Fort Knox to have dinner with Joe. And in between, I have no idea, but there's Mr. Joe in his nice handsome uniform. So, within the next few minutes, I'll be back. I'm going to tell him goodbye. And then you'll see what we do today. So my handsome Joe, getting ready for work. Running late, he says. He feels like he's forgetting something. Poor Joey. My green hair. <laughs> What's up with this green hair? Baby, just breathe. Oh. That front headlight's out. Well, this one's on, that one's not. I know. Now look at Hey, it's still not as bright. I know you gotta go, but it's still not as bright. If you wanna text me your, um. I just replaced these light bulbs. I'm telling you, it, this one's super bright, that one's like in. You guys probably caught all that. I was just super, super. Joe's not having a good morning. He is just not happy. See what I'm talking about? Oh my goodness. Here, I'll just zoom in. Nope. When he starts off with a bad day, his whole day is shot. Let's go in and get some coffee, guys. Joe is gone. I've got my coffee. Knox is probably at the window. Oh, nope, he's inside eating. So I'm gonna get dressed, ready, do my morning chores that you saw the other day, feed the cats, feed the dogs. Now I have to refill the dog food. Then I've got a call because I know my MRI's at nine, but I don't know at which hospital because we've had to change it a couple times to get me in today. <sighs> Then I've got to go by Walgreens and pick up all my prescriptions, drop off two prescriptions, come back here. Then I'm going to go out to Fort Knox with Joe and make some chocolate lasagna. I'm so excited about that. This crew that he's working with has never had it. Um, I will leave the link for how to make it below. It is pretty much just a layer of crushed up Oreos at the bottom that makes a graham cracker crust. Then you do a cream cheese and whipped cream mixture on top of that. Then you add some chocolate pudding and then you add some whipped cream and mini chocolate chips. They say it takes about an hour and 20 minutes to make. It really doesn't take that long. I think what they're um, including in the hour and 20 is the actual put it in the fridge to get cold. But I keep all the ingredients cold like the cream cheese and stuff. Um, until I make it and I may actually make the chocolate pudding before I go so that that is already cold and put that in the fridge but I'm not really sure what today holds it's already started out in a rush usually I don't get up with Joe but I wanted to get up and give him a kiss and see if he needed help getting ready and I think by helping him put stuff in the car it kind of messed him up but let's go get ready and we'll go from there see you at the hospital or in the car. Evidently, my appointment was not at the time I was told. Therefore, I had to reschedule or stay for three hours and wait. Um, no thanks. I think I'll just reschedule. So I rescheduled it. It's now like July 11th. I don't know. I do have it written down this time. I hate the fact that I have to come all the way downtown for this particular scan 
but at least when I'm done with this scan the next time, it's at 8.30, and then I'll meet with the neurosurgeon at 10.30, so I don't have to go two weeks to wait for answers. It's still a huge aggravation for me. Don't tell me the appointment is at one time, and then I get there, and it's not. Earlier this week, they sent me to one side of Louisville for the ultrasound for my thyroid when it was actually the one hospital closest to me. So just unnecessary driving, unnecessary aggravation. And I'm telling you, I'm so over cancer. I'm so over brain tumors. I'm so over this Chiari thing that I have, which is my brain essentially is too big for my skull. And there's parts of my brain that are, I don't know, like and over my skull that's going down to my spinal cord and it's blocking this flow of spinal fluid. That's what Chiari 1 malformation is. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out. However, I'm tired of being sick. I'm tired of seeing doctors. I'm tired of having tests done. I'm tired of having blood work done. I'm just so sick of this stupid body. Anyhow, now that rant's over, I'm headed to Desi's to help clean up the rest of the house. Then I've got to go home and take a shower and head to Fort Knox to have dinner with Joe. So hopefully the rest of the day goes better because right now it has not started off good at all. Ugh. I wish I didn't have so I am totally nice cracking up at all of the stickers on this van. Absolutely. I sold pot to your honor student. What? All salon. Wrong station. Was for another one. How this for a messy bunker room? Oh my lord, he's gonna kill me for recording this. This is no bigger than their rooms. You walk in, they share them with one other guy on the opposite shift. There's one bunker, there's one bunker, or three, there's another bunker, but this is their short little room. I didn't record anymore simply because I totally forgot to film more, and uh, that's about the only reason I have. I'm about to head over to a friend's house real quick, take some pictures with her little boy, and drop off some other things for her daughter. And then I gotta come home and edit this vlog, get to sleep, and go back and help some friends tomorrow. So, a friend's work is never done, but that's okay. I love helping. So, I may let this be the last clip, and I may not. But if it is the last clip, then as always, be kind to one another. Love from Louisville. Night, guys. Bye.